When his mother called him in from bed, he pulled his little boat up to the shore. Good night, little boat. I'll see you tomorrow. And he always did. But then something happened. Little Bear began to grow and grow. He got bigger and bigger. Soon he was not a little bear anymore. He was a big bear. And he didn't fit in his little boat. He tried to sit in it as it bobbed on the lake. But he and the little boat both sank down, down to the bottom of the blue, blue water. Where are you, my big bear? Mother called. Big bear and his little boat both spluttered up. Look, big bear said. You are too big a bear now to fit in that little boat, mother said. It is a little bear's destiny to grow and grow till he is a big bear. And it is a little boat's destiny to stay the same size. Big bear was I can't leave my little boat with no bear to sit in it or fish from it or dream in it, he said. It is a little boat's destiny to keep on sailing on a blue, blue lake. He scratched his head. I know. I will find another little bear who will love my little boat the way I love it. Big Bear walked around Huckleberry Lake. Have you seen any little bears anywhere? He asked Beaver. Not since you were a little bear yourself, Beaver said. Otter hadn't seen a little bear either. But Blue Heron had. One lives with his mother on the other side of the lake, he said. I saw him eating berries this very morning. So Big Bear walked around the lake again and found the little bear. I have a little boat for you, Big Bear said. But there is one thing you should know. You will get bigger and bigger till you are a big bear. That is a little bear's destiny. And the little bear listened carefully. The little boat will stay the same size because that is its destiny. When that happens, you must find another little bear to fit in the little boat because it is also a little boat's destiny to keep sailing on a blue, blue lake. Will you promise? I promise, the little bear said. All summer long, Big Bear saw the little bear rowing the little boat was, around Huckleberry so Lake and fishing from it. And on sunny days, Big Bear would stop what he was doing and watch the little bear as he lay back in the little boat dreaming. Big Bear could tell that the little bear was happy. Big Bear was happy too, because you know what? Big Bear was building a big boat. So he was going to be happy too. He was going to have his own little boat. His big boat. That's just like Pa Don and his little boat, and then he got a big boat, huh? Did you like that story?